The controller, also called the timer or clock, is essentially the brains of your sprinkler system. It stores the watering schedule in its memory and opens and closes the valves as dictated by its program. Your irrigation system has been fitted with Rainbird's ESP modular controller. When the timer was installed, it was programmed to meet the existing needs of your landscape. But these requirements may change. You'll find detailed programming instructions in the operating manual that came with your controller and on the Rainbird website. If you still have questions, please call your Rainbird irrigation professional. One of the most common reasons to adjust a controller's program is a change in season. For instance, as autumn becomes winter, your landscape will require less water. The ESP modular controller simplifies these adjustments with a feature called seasonal adjust. First, turn the dial to the seasonal adjust position. The number 100 appears in the display. This means that all stations will water for 100% of their programmed watering times. Now, if the weather is cooling down and you want to cut back on watering times, say by 10%, simply press the down arrow once. The watering times on all stations move from 100% down to 90%. This 10% reduction means a 10-minute station will now run for 9 minutes. A 20-minute station runs for 18 minutes, and so on. Seasonal Adjust lets you adjust the run time up or down from zero or off to 200%. Keep in mind that changing the Seasonal Adjust percentage affects all the stations on all the programs. When you're finished, turn the dial back to Auto and the controller will resume operation. Seasonal Adjust is now displayed to indicate your ESP modular controller has been adjusted to a Seasonal Adjust setting other than 100%. For daylight savings, you'll want to know how to adjust the clock's time. First, turn the dial to the Set Current Time position. The display shows the current setting for time of day, with the hour flashing to indicate it's ready to be changed. The up and down buttons are used to increase or decrease the setting. So, to adjust the hour, press the up button to add an hour or the down button to subtract an hour. You can press the manual start advance button to adjust the minutes or just return the dial to auto and the controller will resume its schedule. You may wish to run a program more often than was originally scheduled. Instead of reprogramming, you can start the program manually. The A in the display tells us that program A is currently selected. Use the ABC switch to select the program you want to run. Then just press the manual start advance button. The program, station number, and station runtime will then be displayed as the manual cycle turns on and counts down each station for its programmed amount of watering. After finishing the manual cycle, the controller will return to automatic operation. If you want to prevent your system from watering, for example during the rainy season or to do some repair work, just turn the dial to the off setting and the system will stop operating. In this position, the word off is displayed to show that the controller has been turned off. It will continue to keep the correct time and retain the program schedule, but won't open the valves. Just remember, the controller will not water again until you turn the dial back to the auto position. In case of a power outage, the ESP modular controller is equipped with a non-volatile memory that will retain your irrigation schedule indefinitely. The controller is also fitted with an LED alarm light. It turns on if your system isn't operating as programmed. At the same time, the display will indicate what is causing the interruption. If this occurs, call your Rainbird professional. Your ESP controller is a multi-program timer that can be very flexible. To accommodate an upgrade to your landscape needs, you can even add more capacity. These optional modules can provide terminals for up to nine additional valves. If you have any further questions, 
consult the manual, visit the Rainbird website, or call your Rainbird professional. Welcome to the instructions for your ESP modular clock. To begin, we're going to start by correcting the date and time. Turn the dial to the current date. You'll see the month is flashing. If you wish to change this, use the up and down arrow keys until the correct month is displayed. Once you're happy with the current month, press the manual start or advance button on the right. Next, we want to double check and make sure it has the correct date. This is displaying the 18th. If we wanted to have it be the 20th, use the up arrow key until the 20th has been reached. Once you're satisfied, press the manual start or advance key on the right. Next we'll want to begin by changing the current year. Use the up and down arrow keys until the proper year is displayed. Only the last two digits of the year is displayed. Once you're satisfied, press the manual start or advance key. Once we're back to the month, we've set everything at this setting. Next, we'll want to turn the dial to the right to the current time. We begin with the hour. Use the, the up and down arrow keys. Change the hour until it displays the current time. Please note whether or not it's AM or PM. Press the enter key or manual start button on the right. Next, we'll change the minutes, again using the up and down arrow keys until the proper minute is displayed. Press the manual start or advance button and you should return to the hour. The next thing we we'll want to cover is our watering start times. Turn the dial once to the watering start times. <clears throat> our first start time is displayed running at 8 a.m. Our first start time is shown at 8 a.m. If we wanted to change that, use the up and down arrow keys and you can change the start time in 15 minute dividends. Once you're satisfied, you may press the manual start and advance button and check your second start time. The second start time is currently set to off. If you had a hydro seed or a new lawn, it's possible you have more than one start time. If you didn't and you wanted to add one, you may use the up and down arrow keys to change it or add it now. In 15 minute increments, we can move the second start time to any time of day we wanted to. For our example, we're going to use 1230. Once you're satisfied, press the manual start button in advance to move on to the third start time. The ESP modular clock has four start times. For our purposes, we're only going to deal with the first two. If for some reason we made an error and wish to turn off the second start time, press the manual start and advance button until you've reached it and then use the up and down arrow keys to go to about 12 midnight. Once you've reached it and press off one more time, it should display off and the second start time will not run. The next thing we want to check is the days that it's going to water. Right now, every day is set to on. But if you want a day off, for example Friday, say if you mowed that day, turn to Friday and press the off key or on key to turn it on or off. Now the, if you turn it back off, it will not, no start times will begin on this day. If you did want it to run on Friday, press the on key and any zone that has a start time on this day will run. The next thing we want to cover is how to set our valve run times or our station run times. Let's move to the first one and we'll see it's running for 10 minutes right now. If we wanted to increase that, say to 15, use the up or on key, press it five times until you reach 15. If you wanted to move faster, pressing and holding the key will advance at a quicker rate. Once you're satisfied, you may turn the dial and check the next zone. This zone is also running at 10 minutes. Let's say if we wanted to knock that down to five because this water was getting unnecessarily wet, press the off or down arrow key five times until you've reached five minutes. Then we can turn the dial once again to move to zone three and check the third valve. 
This one is also running for 10 minutes. Let's say for some reason we want this zone to be off. The only way to do that is reduce its number of minutes to zero. Using the down or off key, go all the way down to zero. Once zero is achieved, this zone will not run, even though the others do in any given day that the days are turned on. If you do wish to turn it back on in the future, simply turn to zone three and add a, a minute or more, depending on how much water you want. Should the seasons become unusually hot or unusually cold, you want to change all your zone times at once without having to individually program them. If you do, the seasonal adjust button is perfect for this situation. Currently it's set to 100. This means 100% of your run time will be used on every zone that has minutes. For example, if you had a 10 minute zone running 100%, it will run for 10 minutes. If you want to change it to half that time or 50%, use the down or off key and press it until 50% comes up. Now a 10 minute zone would only run for 5 minutes, a 20 minute zone would run for 10, and so on. You can do the same thing by increasing all the way up to 200% by using the up arrow key. You can increase all the way up to 200% or roughly double every run time. For our purposes though, we want it at the 100% normal time. Press the down arrow key until 100% has been reached. When you're finished, you can turn the dial back to auto. The last thing we want to show you is how to run a zone manually by itself. Say if you just fertilize your lawn, for example, and you want to make sure it had water immediately, you can simply, while it's on auto, press the manual start or advance button to begin a one-time cycle. This will not interfere with normal programming, and once the cycle is done, it won't run until the next beginning start time. If you did wish to skip a zone, say for example zone 1 was not fertilized, or there was somebody playing in that section of the yard, you can press the manual start or advance button to skip it. You can skip as many zones as you want, or if you wish to start, stop the entire program, simply turn the dial to off for approximately 5 seconds. When you're done, turn the dial back to auto and the clock will resume normal functions. Should you need to turn off the entire program and cease all watering functions, simply turn the dial to the off position. Once there, no watering will occur until you've re returned it to the automatic position. This concludes the instructions for your Rainbird modular clock.